What's up, you guys? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon and this bitch. Join me as I read you you all's lives, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, Laurel's Moon. Dot com for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, while I have time, before I do the Pisces reading, I wanted to do a quick read on what's happening in love in the next few days and what you didn't expect. For my elemental read I will be starting off the November reading starting with Pisces today so make sure you stay tuned for that motherfucking shit okay I'm over here rolling weed y'all so um, I wanted to do an elemental read of what's happening next in love okay and what to expect so I'm gonna put this weed aside and we're going to go ahead and light up this motherfucker. So wherever you are, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Let's get this motherfucking shit popping. So I'm going to get my Romance Angels. For each sign. We're going to do four cards for each element and then go ahead and dig and dive deep. I love doing different spreads, you guys, so bear with me. I might have some tweaks and changes that I might be wanting to change in this spread, but we're going to get this information down. So spirit, you are welcome in to this reading You must sage the cards for all of my gods. This weed is over here curling up and doing some extra shit. So, let's go ahead and jump into this shit. This is my first blunt of the morning, you guys. So bear with me as I get my medicines and things together. Okay, <laughs> y'all understand in this motherfucker. So I'm going to start out with my fire signs. Give me one card for Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy for the next four days. In love, give me the next overall energies. Very first card we have is flirt. Wow. So in love, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, it's time to get your flirt on. Okay, somebody could be flirting with you. You could be flirting with them. But fire signs is saying to extend your lighthearted energy to others. So it might be some people that you're going to have to give your energy and your love to. Or this person might be trying to give it to you. Let's see what's up for my fire signs. What is... To be expected in the next few days, we have the Empress here popping out and also the Six of Wands Ow, and the Four of Pentacles. All right, so I'm getting that there's going to be a major success. This could be in love altogether. I'm seeing that somebody is crowning you. Okay. Now, I got this Empress with yesterday's energy over the next couple of days. So for some of you guys, you're definitely getting butt-ass naked looking beautiful and things and somebody's gonna be flirting and telling you about that shit okay i'm also getting that for some of you guys with this four of pentacles here there could be a tortoise energy or someone that's holding on to you i'm also getting taurus and libra with all of this venetian energy here 
So you're going to be flirting or there's something that's coming up that's very successful. Now, there could be something within possessions that might be taking place as well. But I feel uh, a lot of you guys might be holding on or somebody is holding on to you as tight as motherfucking possible for a lot of you fire signs. Now, with this Empress energy, this indicates that there is some sexual vibes or just altogether somebody who has it together. Ow. Talk to me, fire signs. This could be dancing as well with the Six of Wands, Empress energy. I feel like you're just understanding the skin that you're in. This could be a relationship as well for some of you guys um, where there's going to be a lot of love given here or a lot of flirtation because somebody is definitely deeply interested. So a lot of love coming up. I feel like some of you guys didn't expect this, but at the same time, you know you fine, baby. Ow. You know you fine. You got to flirt with motherfuckers. Be like, ow, what your name is? Okay. <laughs> so fire signs, I feel like it's a lot of flirtation coming up. Something you might not, you know, expect as much. But I definitely pick up for a lot of you fire signs. There's going to be some good deep down uh, consulting, okay, within. That's going to be taking place within a relationship, right? Very successful in the next few days, in the next four days. So keep that shit up. Let's see what's up with my air signs. For my motherfucking air signs, Gemini, Libra, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, next few days. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, next few days. We have religious factors, okay? So when I get religious factors, I think of different spiritual up, upbringings. I think of different cultural backgrounds. Somebody could be white, somebody could be black, somebody could be Russian, somebody could be German, whatever the case may be, okay? I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's something within your spirituality that might be setting the tone between you and your relationship or how you're wanting things to work. If it culturally works together, it's going to work together. If you feel like there's some things that need to be explained and talked about and the differences between you two, I feel like that's what's going to happen. So there might be some things that are influenced by your upbringing, okay? So this could be religion. Some One of you guys could be a Christian. The other could be Muslim. Whatever the case may be, uh, one of you guys could be uh, Satanist. And one of you guys just love the trees. I don't know. Y'all know how I feel about that shit. So many different cultures... But there is a difference that's going to be uh, established at this point in time for a lot of you air signs. So religious factors, very interesting card to receive. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So some of you guys could be in a different spiritual path than your partner or you're seeing those levels of you all trying to make things work together as you're understanding your spiritual journey. So... I'm seeing that a lot of you guys uh, are going to find balance. You have the justice energy here. So there is something, whether it's a court of law or a set of rules coming up, I feel like there's balance. Okay, like I said, even if there is a cultural difference or a seasonal difference between you and your partner, I feel coming up, it's definitely going to be a balance here between fairness, being honest. Okay, because that's what the justice energy is all about, is being fair and just. You also have the Ace of Wands up in this motherfucker. The old snaps. So, air signs. Um, I'm seeing next couple of days. You got a whole lot of loving and somebody's trying to give you some loving. Ace of Wands also could be working your body out, your physical body. But I'm seeing that it's something you didn't expect, which comes with fairness and balance when it comes to your partnerships. But the Ace of Wands also talks about the male phallus. So, for... So for a lot of you air signs, there could be, uh, you know, just a sexual passion that's coming in. I feel, you know, some of you guys might be dealing with people where you've had to leave them out or you could have left them out in the cold. I feel uh, some of you guys might be feeling and understanding why it is due to religious factors or there could be a suffering or some sort of loss in a partnership where you feel it has to be sprucened up or tightened up with the Ace of Wands here, okay? So, uh, I have the Five of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and Justice. Also with the Six of Pentacles, uh, there could be some financial balance that's coming into play. Somebody's willing to equally share and willing to give, okay? Because you know not everybody is willing to do. 
So, air signs, religious factors. I'm seeing a lot of uh, justice coming in as well. This could be actually court of law or the justice system. But I'm seeing six of pentacles. There's going to be a lot of establishments of giving back, okay? Um, this also could be loyalty as well and legacy. When I get the six of pentacles, this could be with children. Some of you guys are seeing some your partnerships wanting to give back towards children or are willing to play their fucking part with the six of pentacles air signs. So get your ass ready, okay? Let's see what's popping for my water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and this motherfucker. Next four days, what you did not expect in love. All right, here we go. We got, I'm going to put that shit back because it came in threes. Oh, so three could be very significant. Here we go. We have love yourself first, your self respect. Makes you romantically attractive. And romantic feelings is at the bottom of the deck as well, too. So I'm seeing for a lot of you water signs, you're going to have a lot of romantic feelings or someone has romantic feelings for you. I'm about to pick this L back up and smoke this message in my lungs. Okay. And in my brain and in my heart. So some of you guys could be taking care of yourself or it might be time to take care of yourself. Okay. I did just see the nine of pentacles. Also the high priestess. So as you're loving yourself first, there's going to be some truths that come to you or you're going to already be in the knowing because that's what the high priestess is all about. Okay, the bitch knows what's going on. She knows who the fuck is around her, who's not around her. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, let's see what's up next few days, next four days, what you didn't expect in love or what's to come. All right, some of you guys could be in your emotional feeling bad. In the things in the past that could have happened, but I'm seeing eight of pentacles here and also the empress. Ow. So, queen of cups, I feel like some of you guys are really afraid to, you might be holding back on love or you might be holding back on displaying how you're giving out your love to your loved ones with this queen of cups in reverse. But I'm also seeing with the tower energy and the empress, there's something definitely changing. Some of you guys might have had some sort of battles within a work situation. I see that that might uh be coming to an end or there might be some shakeups that happen but i also feel with the empress here coming up in love somebody's going to be showing you how they love you baby okay you got the tower so it could be dealing with scorpio also virgo taurus capricorn i'm seeing the knight of pentacles so a lot of finances coming in financial wealth as well or just being on top of your business when it comes down to your partnerships some of you guys could be ending a situation all right, but I also see that there's going to be success in a situation that you thought was being put to an end or was coming to an end. It's bringing in a new phase with the six of wands here. Okay, so a lot of signs, empress energy. Somebody's going to be sexually attractive, or there's a lot of romantic feelings. Some of you guys might need to think about your satisfaction as well, too. So let's see about my earth signs Virgo, Taurus, and motherfucking Capricorn. Next four days. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, give me the energies that they need to know about and what's to come. We have chemistry up in this bitch. And also there's an engagement or there could be a possible engagement. So let's see what's up. It says there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Some of you guys could be going on dates or there could be something that you're getting a little bit snug with your partner or closer to. I also feel some of you guys um, might be thinking about how... You're putting an end to a situation or a phase altogether. All right, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have the two of wands here. So you could be dealing with Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I'm also getting that for some of you guys, you're just ready for your independence or you're having to think about how strong your independence is going to be okay you got the full energy here so there's a new beginning or somebody's getting ready to initiate how this blend or how this mix is going to come together. So Sagittarian energy here, also Tauren and Aquarius. So I'm getting with the stars here. This is my titty card, y'all. So a lot of you guys, um, there's going to be a renewal or some sort of inspiration. Because I'm seeing that with the stars, baby. Some sort of change of difficulty is no longer going to be around. You have the Ace of Wands here as well so there's a new beginning between you and your partner this could be a very sexual vibe as well or somebody's wanting to see that ass naked 
But I also feel like some of you guys feel like your partner or you could be, you know, struggling to, um, struggling with their emotions, okay? Or just feeling like they're at a loss is what I'm getting here. Now, I do pick up that some of you guys could be dealing with somebody who's not really structuralized or they don't really have control. So some of you guys have to be the one who's in control is what I'm getting here, okay? But there's definitely some chemistry. Uh, you also have the judgment energy. So I do pick up that there is a union ship that some of you guys may be very critical towards. It could be because this person's pretending like they have it all together. But I do feel like there is an absolute wonderful ending when it comes down to the next couple of days with this Four of Cups, okay? This motherfucker is happy. This is family photos and pictures and shit. So whatever makes you happy. <laughs> Earth signs, my loves. Looks beautiful. Ten of cups. So expect that shit. This is the chemistry of making things work and that progress. All right, guys. I'm getting ready to start this Piscean video. So hopefully if you have watched it or your motherfucking ass has tuned in. We're getting ready to see what's popping for my Pisces for the month of November. We're going to start out with those signs um, that have the highest views. So, Pisces, you already know. And then I'm pretty sure Capricorn, Libra, Cancerian, and Gemini is coming up. Just stay tuned in the community post. I love you guys all so much. If you need to get a personal reading, make sure that you hit the description box down below. And check out my website, therosemoon.com. And I'll see you guys. In the next video. I done smoked all this dope, buddy. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>